Hey guys, Lady Survival here. So today I'm going to be reacting to all of the Shadowland cinematic. I guess that this is like a compilation video of like everything and I've had a lot of people ask me when I'm going to react to like the new Sylvanas cinematics and stuff and I really have been wanting to get to it and I, I've been kind of taking Shadowlands a little slow. My fiance and I have been kind of just, you know, like not rushing through it. So we just hit level 60 yesterday, which was Thursday. Um, so I've seen some of the cinematics. I think the most recent one that I've seen in game was the Ysira one and we just got to Revendreth and like we haven't really seen any cinematics in that place yet. So this is going to be, some of this video is going to be brand, brand new to me, never seen before. And some of it I've already seen. So, you know, have some kind of mixed reactions, some just kind of chill, some like, oh my god, because, uh, god. And I'm going to try to give, like, my, like, thoughts and opinions and everything, but I hope that you guys enjoy my reaction. This is, like, a 13 minute long, uh, video, so I hope that, I hope that it goes good. I'm going to try to, uh, do some talking and stuff while we're going through these, so I hope that you enjoy. And I am a Solanus loyalist, I always like to mention that because, um, just if you're not, it's probably good to know that I am because obviously my point of view is going to be different than someone who is not a Sylvanas loyalist. So we are going to go ahead and from the beginning watch all of these cinematics and I hope that you guys enjoy. Here we go. For uncounted eons, the Shadowlands. I hate the purpose, by the way. Form. Very strange to the me. Don't trust it. With Oribos. The Eternal City as the Shining Heart. And I Every don't trust the Arbiter. She's like a computer. And, and she when she does shut down, I have a few thoughts on it, on what, who or what it could be. Um, I've already seen this, clearly, which With is why I'm already kind of going for it. Every soul. But it's just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's like, here's the thing. I need to pause this for a second. The thing with the purpose is that it sounds very, like, evil, kind of. But they make it sound like it's a good thing. It's like, oh, like, we all serve the purpose. Like, whether you uh, are aware of it or not, like, we're all serving the purpose. And it's like, okay, well, the purpose is to sustain the Shadowlands and Ouroboros and the Arbiter. But... Like, that's all that we're here for, which is, like, what, why I think Sylvanas says that this world is a prison, because we're literally just, like, fuel. So, yeah, and I don't like the purpose at all. Um, I think this could either be Halia, um, Xavius, or maybe even Argus, but I'm not sure. I've heard a few conspiracy theories here and there. I kind of feel like Xavius, but might be leaning a little bit more towards Halia. But look at how she just shuts down like a computer. So it is that every it's kind of, kind of strange. And cruel alike is denied its rightful afterlife, and instead is damned to the inescapable torment of the Maw. Does anyone else hear the Maw as the Maw? Every time. I've seen this one as well. The way he just drops Bane, just like <laughs> he just like slides out, is really funny. Because they want you. They don't need to do any damage. They just to chain you all up. See, I have this thing with Anduin. Like, I kind of love him because he reminds me, me of Peter from Narnia. So I have kind of this thing where, like, I'm a Sylvanas loyalist, but I also love Anduin. But I also feel like Sylvanas has, like, a certain level of respect for Anduin. So, I mean, it kind of Go, works out. Go. But he makes me want to cry. Like, he's so wholesome. Like when he was like, go champion, I was like, I do it. Back in chains, didn't last long, buddy. You have I get hella Varian vibes right there. 
precisely what I need. So they're like using Anduin for something, for like probably like light. Got some torture stuff and creepy little hands. This is kind of sad to watch. I don't really enjoy watching this. Those little creatures look very cool, though. There's my queen. She's like this big compared to the jailer. It's kind of funny. Okay, this is the big cinematic that a lot of people wanted me to react to. Um, this is the No More Lies, which I have seen little bits of here and there, but have not seen it through yet. And I love her new armor. I've had a lot of people I do hope you've ask me in. that, and I love it. The accommodations are a bit sparse, I know. Where are the others? Are they safe? Safe? No. I wouldn't say any of them are safe. I am so tired of your games. As you wish. No more secrets, no more lies. You are a weapon we will use to achieve our ends. I will Damn. not become an instrument of death. So you favor life, is that it? That momentary flicker. Every cruel second spent delaying the inevitable in an endless war that you, like every rim before you, will not survive. You know the truth. Blizzard has gotten so good at their in-game cutscene cinematics. Like, they've really improved over the years, and I can't believe how much, like, animation is, like, in all of their facial expressions, and Sylvanas' new model looks so much better. The eyes have so much more, like, depth compared to how it used to be just, like, the giant, like, um, kind of tear mark that wasn't even like accurate to what she actually looked like in cutscenes and stuff. So I'm very happy with this. I just had to say that while we continue listening here. Nothing is fair. Not life. Not death. So we're going to tear it all down. And what purpose would that serve? Everyone suffers, Sylvan. But destroying everything will not take away the pain. Oh, you misunderstand. We're breaking a system that has always been flawed and remaking it into one that is just. <laughs> Do you expect me to believe that all this time you've been fighting for justice? How can I convince you? She looks genuine as all hell there. From our first breath, to our last. Every decision is made for us. It's true. And then the afterlife decides what eternity we must Basically endure. the purpose decides. We can't even choose who we... We couldn't control anything. But through the jailer, control of our fate will at last be possible. Look around you! At what? And who you've joined? What makes you believe you're not just a weapon to achieve his ends? You have a choice to consider. Join us willingly. Or be made to serve. I thought you believed in free will, Sylvanas. We've never had free will, little liar. But that is about to change. I love that she's always called him Little Lion. God, this cinematic 
is so good and I've I've seen parts of it already and I find like it's very hard to like express how to react to this because it's just like it kind of just is what it is like I don't really have any like specific thoughts to say other than it's clear to me that Sylvanas has a certain level of respect for Anduin um she isn't blatantly evil clearly and she's finally actually just been like here it is like we need you like we need to use you to get to the ends of our means and it's just like the part where she was saying like when Anduin asked her so you mean to tell me you've been fighting for justice this whole time and when she says how can I convince you the genuineness in her eyes like it, it's literally true like she's not everything that she's done and every move that she's made is not to be blatantly evil there's a means to the end and it is true we are in a broken system literally Azeroth is a prison built to feed the Shadowlands where we just get trapped in an eternal afterlife that isn't even one that we can choose like it needs to be all dismantled it, it has to be like what what is Warcraft to become if Sylvanas isn't making the moves that she's making? So, and I almost, this is from a Sylvanas loyalist standpoint, I kind of view Anduin uh, as him not really understanding why she's doing what she's doing and kind of questioning, like, what are you doing? Like, why have you joined this force? And, like, how she keeps saying, like, that his vision, like, his mindset is not it's too narrow like he doesn't understand like what she's actually going for and it kind of reminds me how when she said to Sarafang I trusted you like she literally meant that like I trusted you to see the greater picture and when she calls the horde nothing and everyone nothing it's because we literally are when you compare it to this divine cosmic purpose that we're supposed to serve that we have no control over it's like I kind of view Anduin as the player base that doesn't understand what she's doing. And then the Sylvanas loyalists are on the same page as her. It's like, we understand what she's doing. So I kind of feel like it's kind of like Anduin is the personification of the player base that doesn't understand what she's doing, if that makes any sense. But this cinematic is so good. I'm obsessed. I'm so glad I'm finally reacting to it, and I hope that you guys kind of get where like I'm coming from with this. but. Yeah, I do think that Sylvanas has a level of respect for Anduin, and in a way I think he does for her too, and maybe he thinks that he can, like, convince her or change her or somehow work with her or understand. Maybe they can get on the same page, but kind of, like, even each other out. Like, if Sylvanas is, like, up here kind of, like, being a little crazy, but Anduin's, like, down here, like, not really fully understanding, like, maybe he can learn to understand, and Sylvanas can kind of, like get on his level a little bit too. I don't really know if that makes sense, but like maybe she is going a bit extreme, but maybe there's kind of a middle ground that the two of them can meet. But I adore the fact that she calls him Little Lion so much, especially from reading Shadows Rising or Before the Storm, I mean. It's just it's just really, really cool. So we're gonna continue now. And I haven't seen anything going forward. This is all new. super strength now. Oh jeez, is he going to fight him? Oh, he's probably going to get screwed by Demathrius. Even with, like, a super strong anima blade. Oh my god. Jeez, oh my god. You didn't even make it, bro. You didn't even make it. This was your valiant last stand. Oh my god. For so very lucky. You've punished arrogant souls. But instead of learning from their suffering, you've become one of them. You just Oh, 
fortunate you are to witness the splendor of what is about to unfold. I've Every like barely done this press line. I don't even so know what leads up to this. Run from the tortured souls of lesser beings. Now paves the path for the banished one to reclaim what was his. Oh wow. And once his liberation is secured, it shall be by his will that all is washed away. The only power that will emerge from this torrent of change is death. Wow. Death and those who shaped its victory. Someone will stop you, Tanathrius. Even if I... Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay, so we're just funneling anima into the mob. Oh wow. <laughs> this is great. It's great because I'm definitely choosing Revendra Venthyr as my covenant, and it's like kind of like you're being a Sylvanas loyalist too, because He's like essentially, he's helping the jailer, and Sylvanas is working with the jailer. So it's like, this is my way of being a Sylvanas loyalist in Shadowlands. And I think that this is what we need to do. This is the right thing to do. My queen, please help us. And then I've seen this one too. This is the Ysira cinematic. Of my sister. I found that interesting. So that means, is her sister Aenor or a loon? Is what I'm kind of wondering. Why have you brought it to me? This one is slipping away. Our duty is great. Many have been. I don't trust the Winter Queen at Why all. Why would I save her pet? In the way that she just refer refers to Ysira as a pet, like as if she has like disgust. The music is what gets me, because it just takes me back to Valshara. Oh my god, it's so good! Okay, let me get to like a Sylvanas frame here, just because. Just because, that's what it's gotta be. God, I'm loving Shadowlands so much. These cinematics are so amazing. I can't believe like just how much better every expansion Blizzard is getting with creating their uh, in-game cutscene cinematics and also just in general their CGI, like expansion cinematics and all that kind of stuff. Like. It's been amazing, and I feel like the last couple of years, like, with Sylvanas being so involved in the story, and to me, like, I've been a Sylvanas loyalist for, like, 13 years now, and it's just so amazing to have been following her story for so long, and, like, it, to finally get to see so much going forward with it is just so amazing to me. It's like, 
Yes. <laughs> it's like so many other characters have had the spotlight for a long time, like Illidan and Arthas, and it's like, I just always wanted Sylvanas to get it, and she's getting it. I'm just like, I'm loving it. I'm loving all of the Shadowlands experience, and my favorite zone so far um, has been uh, Ardenweald, but that's only because I haven't really done uh, Revendreth yet. Like, I just got there. I'm barely, like, one-eighth of the way through, so that's definitely going to be my covenant, so I'm very, very excited. But so far, out of all the zones, I've just loved Ardenweald the best, I would say. This is just kind of my general, like, Shadowlands thoughts and everything. I'm loving it. I'm loving the cinematics. I'm loving the way that they're telling the story, and just, God... I love it so much. Um, I did also want to say one more thing about this cinematic where Sylvanas says, not life, not death. Like, nothing is fair, not life, not death. It's like, well, what else is left? And to me, I kind of see that as she's saying undeath is the only way to, like, have kind of, like, a fair, just system, as she said. Because, like, the thing is, life, you will eventually die and then just be doomed to, like serving the Shadowlands and serving the purpose and I mean death isn't good because that's what comes from being alive you have to die but undeath you're kind of in this area where like you're untouched in a way like you're kind of like void of all of these possibilities so it's almost like I don't know if this is the case but it's almost like Sylvanas and the Jailer like what if their goal is to like have everyone undead so that like we no longer feed the Shadowlands and we kind of have our own free will because it's like you're just you're not alive or dead and it's like isn't I believe also um if you're undead the void can't really touch you either so it's kind of like the void is like the ultimate evil so it's like the best way to counter that is being undead so I don't know if that's what she means but I mean like not life not death what's in the middle undeath so it's like maybe that could be kind of what she's leading to I think but god this is all so good I loved um the cinematic with Denathrius and getting to see him just feeding anima into the maw and just knowing that he's been working with the jailer and like that's why he's been gathering so much and like just hoarding so much of it to finally like here you go here's a bunch of anima and then with um the heart of the forest like how I think it says in one of like the questline dialogues that like without the heart of the forest like if it falls like the banished one the jailer will be set free so it's like everything's just coming into motion it's so mind-blowing and I can't wait to see the rest of it I'm so excited and I hope that you guys enjoyed this um I was kind of debating on doing like just one video at a time or just doing the no more lies cinematic but I figured because I kind of had a mix of stuff that I have seen already and haven't, I thought it would just be fun to kind of do it all in one go and I hope that you guys enjoyed and I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions and everything down below so let me know and I will try to reply to you as many as I can and I hope that you all have a wonderful day and enjoy Shadowlands. See you next time!